you lag play in the exact same chemical way. Pun in generations. The slide section always lags. I don't care what PC you have. I don't care how many tens of thousands you spent on your PC. When you get to the slide in chemical plant in generations, it lags. Let's move on to the game that, that apparently only recently has been classified as Let's bad. This way. Let's talk this way. about our good old friend Sonic Colors. Okay. Okay. Sonic Colors. Okay. I'll give it a six point five out of ten. I think it's no, pretty decent. Hold on. Let's. So put used to think our, it was no, the best on. game in the series. Now, hold, but, hold yeah. on right. real quick. In twenty sixteen. At the time. At the time. At the time. Listen. And at the time. He gained some stamps. At the I'm time. I'm just joking, viewers. It's an opinion. At the time, after Unleashed, people were saying the daytime stages, good. Werehog, bad. Sonic Team listened. And they said, they okay. They didn't listen, oh, though. No, the shut, levels in colors shut, are not as shut, good as the day levels on, in Unleashed. Hold on. They listened. But, but, but and they friends, put, they are objectively, factually, but here an is evolution what they did. of Sonic Unleashed's daytime gameplay. They, not they said it They themselves. took the daytime and, oh, and they sure made it the entire game. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> at the time, they were still coming off the heels of people complaining about ha playing as multiple characters, even though I at least they didn't. I understand the reasons why. That's why it was just colors. Sonic. Now, at the time, the game, and I still think it, it's it's a fine experience. It, does it have its problems? Yes. It, we said this; it had those problems back then, and we, we still think it has these problems now. The stages, some of them are really short. The game is in 2D most of the time, yes. But does that mean- And they market it as a 3D game, right? Because, is it because the game is 2D? Does that make it bad? That's not, no, it's not because no, it's 2D. It no, it doesn't. Rush, it does not make Rush that. Rush is in my top three. So it's not because it's 2D. It's That's because the it. level design, not only does it get filler with its repeating stuff, but it's just so blocky. Right. It's okay. so, so unnatural. Let me, let me, let, 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 okay, let me give you the, let me give you the backstory, okay? 2011 summer, Man, last summer game yeah. I played, was unleashed i saw this game cover right actually no it's 2010 christmas i saw this game cover and this was supposed to be a new sonic game and it said sonic colors and i saw these cringe wrists on the cover and i thought am i too old for sonic at this point i was like 50. <laughs> what that I was the first time that was the first time, was the the first time i questioned whether i was finally too old for sonic because you saw the <laughs> you saw generation the what the fuck am I doing okay. my life? Now, I know I didn't the know generations, I would have left the series. Real oh, talk. I was gone until gems. Now, when oh. we get to the gameplay, the Act 1s were mostly okay. They were all right. But Sonic 1 has proven that three acts was too many. Sonic 2 dropped it down to two, and everyone liked that. But then guess what they didn't like in Sonic 2? Metropolis Act 3. Why? Because we were enjoying two acts, and then you gave us three. Colors waltz in, and Azuka goes, what if we give them six acts? No, 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 no. Okay, oh, hold on, hold on. Here's the thing. Okay, so I'm gonna just nip this in the bud right here. Azuka is not to blame for shit like that. And the constant hate for Azuka is incredibly, incredibly ignorant because that is not how the I company agree. works. I agree. Who started, start start that? Start that? Who started that? Who started that? Prem started that I shit. know he oh did, and that's why I'm yelling out now. Look, 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 you I don't, asshole. I don't, I, don't, I don't think I'm that horrible of a person for holding I I think the you're team, fucking terrible. for holding the, the, the head of Sonic Team accountable for games released for the head of, head of Sonic, Sonic team. team can't do what he wants. Then why are you the head then? You might as well just resign. Blame then. Like, corporate like, because ever since oh, oh so, no, let me explain Azuka to when you the head of the Sonic team, you. he made the games that he made. When Azuka was the head of Sonic team, he also made the games that he made. We're allowed to judge the games, and he should take some blame. I don't think he should be absolved of blame because when Mania was doing well, everyone's like, don't forget to praise Azuka. He told them to make the game longer. But when there's something wrong, we can't blame Azuka though. It's, it's it's just the higher ops for the invisible people that we don't know their names you or so. Guys, Azuka's absolved you're of all calling blame. for the guy who's been with Sonic the longest out of that entire team to be fired. He's the one out of that I entire team. Okay, okay. Now, hold on. I, 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 I never, I never said Azuka should be fired. I never yeah, said Azuka should be fired. Yeah, you just said he should fired. resign. You just said he should no, resign. No, I said, I said if your point is that he can't do anything, he's the head, but he's powerless, then at that point, why even have the job? Let me explain why. Point. Let me explain why. Because before 
06, uh, Azuka was not the head. But here's the thing. We know that, of course. Ever since, but games. after 06 happened, Sonic Team changed the way they do games for Sonic, where they are down the necks of Sonic Team, where they have to approve everything Sonic Team wants to do. And a lot of the times, Sega does not approve what Sonic Team wants to do. Sega does what the investors want for Sonic. The investors see nothing but Call of Duty and games that are long and games that pan it out and the games that give you the illusion of a full package. Sonic Team is not so, the biggest so development team. Sonic Team is not the biggest development team on planet Earth. So oh, what not. happened- Oh, we not fucking relevant know. Like we've not had a Sonic game in three fucking years. Sonic is not that relevant anymore. Like the movie is an exception. No, no, no. I think Sonic is probably one of the most relevant character. Sonic is no, really no, relevant no. right now than he <laughs> was because of that movie. He really, that isn't. Movie. He really that isn't. movie did something good for Sonic. Sonic is hella relevant right now. If the games uh, come out, you've got four, four million sales. That movie no, Sonic is not relevant. I, you know what? I agree with Prem. I agree with Prem. I you, let, me, really let me put things into you perspective. You guys think Sonic Super is Mario not relevant? Odyssey, Super Mario Odyssey did 16 million units, and it's only on Switch. Mania didn't even do 3 million on everything. Yeah, you know what? No, Mania did 1 million. One. Exactly. Odyssey did 16 million yeah, yeah. on I was, gonna, I was actually in a podcast with my friend and I was saying the same thing. One million units is not bad, but like for a game that was meant to be a sequel to like Sonic fucking three, yeah. and it, it, it could not, barely pull a million. As I think a game in franchise, Sonic is not relevant anymore. He's not pulling millions of units. People only talk about it on YouTube for the views yeah, and the- Yeah, Team Sonic racing. For, for the first month and a bit when it launched, Team Sonic Racing sold 100,000 copies worldwide. That was the marketing yeah, that did like that. Yeah, Crash is doing way better numbers right now than Sonic. Well, no, we and know that. Oh, yeah, hold on. This, this, this is a comparison I always use. Crash was dead for ages. He comes out with the Insane Trilogy. That was before the Sonic movie, massive guys. Success. Well, hold on. No, there's two things I want to bring up. I mentioned this in a video. I don't remember which one, but I showed a Google Trends graph with Sonic the Hedgehog. What Google Trends Graph do is they take something from all corners of Google. We're talking about YouTube, anything associated with Google, it puts them in this trend graph. Now, of course, Google is just one thing, but because Google is such a big anomaly, it, I think this graph represents pretty accurately how, how a trend is going, you know, when trends happen. And it goes all the way back to 2004. Sonic right, now, okay. after the movie, it is yeah, proven based yeah, off the data. I, I agree. Yeah, but you have to remember there's something called conversion rate, though. Just because more people are talking about Sonic because they watched the movie doesn't mean they'll convert to game sales. That's the problem. But the point and is relevant. Because don't know how to ride the momentum of the movie. Exactly. That shit. That's, what they should have done, what they should have done is have a movie tie-in game that they would have dropped around the same time as the movie. Well, not even that momentum. If those first few months after the movie came out, they should have been selling that tie-in game like. Okay. What did they do instead, Prem? They shoved in the Team Sonic Racing trailers in the fucking movie! Yep, yeah, Team Sonic <laughs> Racing trailers. Team in the Sonic movie. fucking racing. I, I do um, agree uh, that they should have took uh, more advantage of the movie, but I feel like it's it's not too late for them to still do that. It's not too late, but the time is drawing near. And again, they were planning on doing this announcement a month ago. We would have already known what the game was going to be. Stop, yeah, but, uh, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but the game stop. is still likely going to be a 2021 Dude, release. But Prem, I told, you this, I told you this last year. They weren't going to have a 2020 game. That's way too soon. Yeah, I get that. I was wrong on that. But my point stop. is that oh, yeah, Prem, that's the problem. Sure. Uh, also, yeah, point, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam, point Sam is, this is the problem. Why the fuck? Right, right. Obviously, pandemic right now. But before this whole pandemic thing, why the fuck was that too soon? Why was it too Why soon? Why would that be? So Sonic Forces came out three years ago. Because the team is not as big as what they used to be. Why are they not as big as they used to be? took four years and was trash. Because Sonic Team is 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 cherry picking, or Sega, I mean, is down Sonic's team neck and is essentially choking them at everything they want to do. And, and is Sega, right, it's Sega like is not giving them the budget they yeah, used to have. Doesn't, Sega breathing down their necks doesn't equal poor quality games i do not, agree that the budget doesn't make like, it like gay out now or you're and i will agree money. and here's the thing and there is a misconception when we get to forces we will talk about that because i don't think budget was the problem with forces but let's go back to sonic colors oh, real look. quick because i think yeah I think let's go back to colors. Oh, yeah, one more thing about colors that i didn't mention before yeah it feels like the act ones were decent they were all right and then the rest of the acts they went you know those extra acts in unleash that you can play if you want to but you don't have to 
Throw them in as act no, two. No, I disagree. I think it's usually the first two acts, and then the rest are like, yeah. Like, the but, fucking stages, we have to stand well, on a switch to move lasers. That's what it is, though. In Sonic Colors, what it was, was the first two acts of the stages were pretty damn good, but when you get to the other couple acts, they were kind yeah. of filler. And I do so agree, that, that is, is one of the main problems with Sonic Colors. Like the main act and I do that, agree, but though. still, at the end of the day, compared to Forces, because people like to compare the two games together, I will say, I feel like the Colors level in Forces still feel like like a full, a better level than the ones that were in forces because they feel huh. more flushed out and the controls are better. Now again, I will say hey, we're colors had its problems. Well, you know. Colors had its problems, you know. But again, <laughs> soundtrack, presentation, <laughs> all that stuff was fine. You know what? Forces had less filler than colors. I know, forces but the game also felt like less though. of a game than colors too. Oh my god, Prem also five had green hills. All Sonic games have been doing let's this. Let's move on to Sonic locations. Generations. Okay, let's move on to Sonic Generations. Oh, generations, the best, the best Sonic game ever made. Booyah. The best Done. boost best Sonic game, game of that decade. The best Sonic game ever made. Best of, boost of, gameplay of, in my oh. opinion. Now hold of on. The franchise. Now hold on. Now hold I wouldn't on. put it over on leash. I need to. I need to make but, this clear. You know. Because this, there's this growing animosity against classic Sonic. I wonder who's doing that. Now hold Drive on. Me, me. Now hold on. <laughs> now hold on. At the time, classic Sonic in Generations was new. It was good. I can I, I can excuse Generations for having classic Sonic. I at can the time. excuse it, but even then, when it was new, the modern levels were the highlight of the game. I looked at the trailers. So I was that's, like, I mean, yeah, some the classic levels okay. Some people yeah, had genuine fans, fun with the classic I'm levels. Gonna gonna defend, I'm going to defend the classic levels. I think they so are. Who thinks the classic <laughs> levels in gens are better than the classic Sonic levels? Yeah, I do. Now hold on. Now uh, I I I don't favor either or. I I like both of them. The thing is, is like. The, the classic Sonic stages in gens, though, were really exhilarating because of essentially classic Sonic in, so, in a weird way controlled like Adventure Sonic with the spin dash where you could just hold a button and it made it made the game go faster sick, than you would in a regular classic Sonic game. But like the thing with the classic Sonic levels is that they were so densely packed, so like full yes, and great level design. Design. I yeah. love that shit. And it makes the stages just so much fucking fun. And again, to play. and I feel like we don't have to. I really feel like we don't have to be here long with generations. Uh, I mean, we all like the game. Sky Sanctuary is a masterpiece. You I'll know, give you that. You know, I will say compared to Unleashed, generations in terms of story was lacking. Generations in terms of presentation was lacking. No CGI cutscenes. Uh, uh, you know, the soundtrack was also lacking compared to Unleashed. I don't think it was. I mean, uh, it wasn't original. But, I don't but, think I mean, it was lacking compared to Unleashed. I, I think Jim's soundtrack is things. hella overrated. It's not bad. Classic City Escape is a great oh, song. I think Sonic Unleashed is overrated. Tip is wrong. The game, the game, the game not the soundtrack. Yeah. But I will. Tip but I, But at the end of the day, like yeah, uh, Generations was a good return to the boot formula we had in Unleashed compared to Colors. Can I just say something as well? Um, yeah. When I left the series from Colors and I thought I wasn't coming back, and Jen's brought me back. I remember thinking, and I'm sure other people thought this as well, finally, they've got a formula for Modern Sonic. Now, all they have to do for the next game is remove Classic, keep the Modern formula, maybe make the levels a bit longer, add original environments and a bit of story, and now they've got a winning formula for the rest of the decade. Well, fuck you, because hey, welcome to next. Sonic Lost World, where Sonic oh, Lost World Lost throws Lost. all of that out the window because they had a deal with Nintendo. Now, here's the yeah. thing. Oh. Now, here's the thing. Sonic like, Lost World. People defend Sonic Team by going, but they Sonic had a deal with Lost Nintendo. There was nothing World. they could do, and I'm like, but who signed the deal with Nintendo? Okay. Like, when do you want to know who did that? Them? It wasn't Sonic <laughs> Team. It wasn't Sonic Team that signed that deal. It was the higher ups and the, yeah. the, the guys in the suits that we don't know their names. So yeah. Sonic Team was solved. Yeah, but all because killed. it's a game yep. on Nintendo system doesn't mean they had to fucking ditch the boost formula. So here, exactly. here's what it is. Exactly. Right, well, are you telling me the Wii U can't handle boost? So, okay. Uh, no, it, it probably could not because the, the even in Lost the World, the DS could handle boost. But, but, yeah. but it was a 2D game. The Wii U is as powerful as an Xbox 360. That yeah, has exactly. only been generations. But the, even even Lost World struggled on the Wii U. I mean, Clovis had boost and I was on the Wii. Because what are you talking about? Sonic, the draw wait, distance in Sonic the draw Lost distance World. in Lost World was horrible. Sonic Lost World and the Wii U ran at 60 FPS. Yes, yeah. but the draw distance is what I'm talking about. The boost would have you would have had. If you, you were boosting on a Wii U, the draw distance would not give you enough time to react. But Colors was a boost game and that was on the Wii, though. So, yes, I but the Wii U can't handle Colors, a boost game. Yeah, no, but Colors is incredible. Like, that's way slower than. But the resolution in Colors game. is really low, too. 
Yeah, I, I still think it. that using the if the Wii U is not powerful enough. I, I just think that we're making it excuse do, I, Sonic Team again. Uh, no, I, I agree. I, I'm not the trying Wii to excuse them, but trust me, it. I'm not it's trying true. to excuse them going with the gameplay in Lost World. Lost World gameplay, you know what pisses me off about that game the most? The the most I this here's the thing. In concept, not that bad of an idea. I feel like giving Sonic a run button is really stupid, but I get what they were trying to do. The idea that Sonic, and again, my main problem with Sonic Team when it comes to them when they make the games is whoever is in charge of step one in terms of movements before they make the levels, that person needs to be like, that person whoever makes the, the, the physics and the gameplay mechanics, that person needs help. When Sonic yeah, turns in oh, Lost I'm World, he them. He had no choice but to do it that way. The thing that you pisses me really, off the most about Lost World... Tram, you're an asshole. <laughs> the thing that pisses me off the most about Lost World is when Sonic turns, he slows down so bad, and it makes the game feel so sluggish. In the moments, it is in 3D, because it's not fully in 3D. The 2D section of that game control, like, but the pro, the um, the part oh, I disagree. System, I disagree. No, the oh my god, the two D sections are butt in that game. Oh, I know, I really disagree. You know, I think you know, I, I, I think, I think well. when it when it comes to two D sections, I think Lost World's two D sections were actually fun because you can speed really? run them. I think just in terms of gameplay and the and how he feels, it just. It makes me mad. <laughs> it, it's the same thing. It I doesn't. Have. I disagree. I think it I'll controls quite well. It's, I, will, I won't lie. It's been a while. I think last time I did it was uh, when think, it came to PC. Uh, uh, Lost problem with control is that it it does lack momentum. I like the mechanics, like what you can do with the spin dash and spin dash off ledges and double jumping into parkour. It has some good mechanics, but it's missing that momentum I'm, element. Yeah, they should have honestly just they should have just went adventure mode for a lost world but they didn't and of course in uh, the 2d sections you know it, it, it's not even just the 2d section it's just the control of that but anyways beside that the story in lost world trash oh that's trash. not trash that's garbage a, that is probably the worst easily one. i would easily pick that story over colors easily i hate you i and what? Dan, yeah and no, Dan. colors the story yeah. is not that bad honestly it was it was it, a, it was refreshing at the time eggman making an amusement park Stealing aliens. I mean, okay, it, it does go back to its roots with him capturing animals, but it, I mean, it was still yeah, an interesting. Yeah, take. Yeah, first of all, we have, to, we, we have to separate the difference between plot and like overall story. Plot is like the general what the story is about. The story is like the actual cutscenes and dialogue. Yeah. The like, plot. The plot of Eggman having an amusement park is not a bad plot. The lines are cringe. And like, yeah, but no, oh, of no, course, no, I'm yeah, gonna defend I Sonic over the story. I liked that is the only game where I actually like Roger as Sonic. Um, wow. I thought it was that's actually the quite game you're funny. Pick? Yeah, that's the game I'm gonna pick. Colors. I think the lines were funnier than any of Man, the other I'm looking shit at your happened. opinions and just wondering how you failed so no, badly. No, 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 that's fucking forces. I hate that. Game. Um, <laughs> I will oh say though God. that that um, uh, you know, Lost World, these the the Deadly Six. And the fact that they're still trying to make them work now bothers the shit out of me. Because here's the thing. The Wisps... Sorry, and I'll, wisps. Bring, I'll bring up the Wisps. The Wisps coming back in Generations... Okay, we get it. The Wisps coming back in the Lost World did not... They didn't... Narratively, didn't make any sense. And it really felt like they just needed power-ups and they didn't know what to do. When uh, they could have just brought the classic power-ups Zuka back. himself said that he wanted Wisps to be like the staple power-ups in the series. But if like, I criticize I Zuka for that, then it was under the rule of Sega, and we can't criticize him. No, but I him. don't. Uh, no, 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 I don't are you, think wait, that are you for the sure? Need to be explained in every fucking game. Well, no, you're telling me that you have proof that Azuka said that he is the reason the Wisps are in Lost World, or the he, Wisps are he back. He said he wanted them to be a staple power up of the series. He said it in interviews. He did say that. Yeah, I forgot him because I went through so many like news videos in the full you, you need to find but, those and source those because uh, yeah, he, he definitely he definitely said it in an interview. That that one I remember that one vividly because it annoyed me. Krem's got a fucking Azuka hate fan club. Oh my god! Oh no, I, don't I know hate he Azuka. Okay, yes, yeah, you, you do. You even told me in DM. I just Azuka did the level design for Heroes. It's impossible to hate him. Okay, he created he helped create the greatest you, game ever. You can't hide but, it. You can't hide it. I see you on Twitter. You despise Azuka. I know you do. You despise Azuka. You despise Sonic Team and Sega. You hate everyone. I don't despise Azuka. Okay. Yes, we do. I just think it's fine. He peaked in 03 with the heroes level design. He will never top that. You can't top that. It's fine. But I just wish that his philosophies were more like his superior, Yuji Naka. Yuji. Okay, here's the thing. Uh, Yuji Naka 
made games like Shadow the Hedgehog in games like, and he helped, I know he left in the middle of Sonic 6's development, but he was also helping with Sonic 6's development. Izuka yeah, is I'm, not, I'm I mean, I mean, uh, about, Yuji Naka, though he is a god at programming and uh, amazing, he wasn't like, he, he didn't really necessarily make better decisions than Izuka, okay? I'm talking about the philosophies. Like, I look at, like, I, I study interviews of Naka and Izuka and what they say and what they want Sonic to be. And everything that Naka says, like, just describes exactly what I wanted Sonic to be. He wasn't afraid to experiment. He liked when the games had depth and challenge. Izuka frequently talks about how he wants games to be more accessible, easier, easier. Works. If you look at the development for colors it's on the uh, i think it's on the wiki it says more. basically that the game was aimed at what kids from five to ten or something well, like yeah, that yeah 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 he, he, he admitted that he said it when he was promoting the game but and then they were going for the to, mario audience and then then people, but let me say it, this and then people got annoyed and then azuka had to backtrack and go oh no but original fans will still enjoy it too but, but here's the, here's the here's the thing before. here's the thing though why do you really think Azuka was the one that said Sonic has to be accessible for all ages? Or do you think it was Sega that came down and said, we need you guys to make a Sonic game that brings in more Sonic fans? I don't fans. think it's fair to say that everything Azuka says he wants, we should absolve him and say that it's Sega's fault. Here's, yeah, here's, here's, here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. I'm not saying exactly. I'm not saying that you that you're wrong here. I'm saying that we don't really have proof that Azuka is a okay, mouthpiece. Okay, okay, okay. but when Nakamura, Azuka when is Nakamura a mouthpiece was talking about Sega. dashing like a maniac, he sounded genuinely I hate a line. I I hate like, hate like he wanted it to be that way. He didn't sound like, oh, I wanted to do this elaborate adventure three, but Sega made me make it dash. He said, You seriously you can't hold the button. Oh my God, that is the most insulting thing Sonic Team has ever said. Die for I fucking hate that. They want these things. They're not being held on strings. They yeah, have they tools. are. Ever since 06, they are being held down. I do not believe that Azuka is Yeah, I, I don't. Office. Right, you know what, Sam? I don't believe that <laughs> Forces Level Design being hot trash was because of the Sega higher oh, no, 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 no. I'm not saying that. No, the, that's not, I'm not talking about for Forces. No, that I'm talking about in terms of Lost World and uh, making the game accessible and all that stuff. So we'll get to Forces. In fact, I know who the hell to blame for Forces. I'm mainly talking about... Um, I'm mainly talking about making games more accessible and easier that that is not something that is just azuka that i feel like that would be Son sega i mean coming down and saying we want more accessible games because we see games like you know and by the way here's a proof of that too because because um we have interviews for sonic forces ah, i i kind of want to wait to get to that one okay i'll i, I remember i'll remember to get to that my point is my point is is that azuka is a mouthpiece for sega he can't come down and say sega is making me do this he can't he'll lose his job he's a mouthpiece for sega well if your job is to be a puppet then you why would you keep that job though i believe he has creative control because he really does like sonic and he loves sonic and he has a passion for sonic he so really did does. naka when he helped create it but he had to leave for what reason with the head of the team oh, because they were because they were because they were telling him to work there. under bad conditions and he left i do agree with that but the thing you want to know why azuka doesn't really want to leave because he is really the last person at Sonic Team left that has been with Sonic for as long. Sonic Azuka's been there since Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Azuka's the last person from the OG people that are actually in game what development and understand it. Now well, hold all on. I'm saying is I don't think he even understands it as much as we want him to think. Like I feel like they made certain things and they don't remember why they were so liked, so they don't know how to replicate it. If you were to ask him right now, like, why was, you know, Adventure liked, you know, he had an interview talking about it and he said some good things, but in general, they don't fundamentally understand the appeal of the series to, like, Adventure era people, which is why they struggle to replicate it. They just keep doing whatever they want to do. Well, we don't, well, we won't know how good they will be at replicating it until they try to replicate it. Well, I mean, tried to replicate, like, a fully 3D game. Last time they tried to replicate Je Adventure was oh, 06. God. I mean, I they really tried, I mean, when they tried and they to would have got it, and they would have had it down. And uh, again, the beta gameplay of Sonic 06 shows that they had it down. It's yeah, just I'm because the game was un it was undercooked. 3D Sonic in general, like like Gens yeah. was the last time they made a 3D Sonic that people really liked. They yeah. they haven't been able to do that since then. They had Lost World. They had Forces. It's like when are they gonna realize 
this is, these are the like, remember when they said with forces from the yeah, team and actually, gave them colors and generations. Well, hold on. They let me the wrong things from colors and the wrong things to generations. So let me explain that. Let me explain they, this. So, so during Lost World, they took they took the Hedgehog engine, not the Hedgehog engine, but the the Havoc engine that they had for yeah. generations. They yep. overwritten it, and they made what was Sonic Lost World. Then Sonic Team, when they made Forces, we're going to skip over me because we already talked about that. When they made Forces, they overwritten what they made in Lost World and they tried to replicate what they made in 2009. The gameplay in the physics engine for Lost World was like changed to hell to the point where I feel like whoever is in charge of programming now at Sonic Team is not nearly as skilled. And I feel like I've heard this too. The people that made the engine for Unleashed Generations is no longer at Sonic Team. So whoever's making it I, now I that is. is having trouble replicating what they've made back then. That's why the boost engine in this game in, in Forces controls like so ass. Sam. Sam, yeah. are you blaming Sega for Lost World not having the boost gameplay? Um, I would say because they wanted the game to be more accessible, accessible, and they wanted so, it to appeal I, to the Nintendo yeah. crowd. I so would say, yeah, you, Sega. Okay, so then why the fuck would they go back to the boost afterwards? Because the because the backlash. So Sega, okay, so the high road Sega said it's like a hot stove. Well. They oh, wanted... actually, don't do that. Make it like you did before when it wasn't accessible, or according to them, or whatever. Like, I really do not feel like Sega. No, what bro. they, what they Sega, realized... Yeah, I what, don't think Sega Ton do not make What they this realized game. with Lost World is that they alienated their fans. So what they do, and again, it's not impossible to please both fans and new people, but Sega doesn't believe that. They think they have to please fans, and then new people, and then fans, and then new people. Forces was supposed to not only please us fans, but it was also supposed to please... and. I, I, the, and again, I know, like, I feel like this is, like, a given, but I feel like they were trying to please the Sad AM fans that were alienated for so long with the Freedom Fighting team and all those people. I don't, um, I, I don't. really, I feel like, I feel like that's what they were trying to do. Now, the problem is they can't please us on the game. Forces. No, we're forces. They tried now, to please on. everyone and no one at the same now, time. Yeah, no, but here's the thing. Classic Sonic and Forces. No reason to be in there. We, we know that. They, I don't, know. They, I don't even let me have explain. an issue with Classic Sonic being in the game. I, I, that's not an inherent issue. Does he play well? well? You, you like Classic fun. and Gems. Here's, here's the thing. Even here's if thing. Classic played like let he me explain did in Gems, I still wouldn't have won them first. Prem, Prem, Prem what, was, what was one of the biggest selling points of Sonic Generations? <clears throat> It for in general for classic me. Sonic was a clear selling point because of that it game. was new. That was okay, new at the time. But I'm talking about me. These are my opinions. But that was so new at the time. Was like it. With class Sonic being in generations, that was new. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, well, actually, it wasn't new. It was old. But you know, that was the whole point. But, I'm talking about. I'm talking, with, I'm talking about with uh with classic Sonic being in a modern game. That was like a new thing. Now, oh, yeah, that was new. Yeah, but what I'm saying, I'm saying is the development for Forces, and people have confirmed this, they went into the code and they could see it. That game was made in a year. The actual so, yeah, they spent the other three years doing them. Planning. And again, this is the first sign. This is the, on Coast, this is the you know, first sign. Up, you know. And here's the thing. I will say, Forces, for as much as I don't really like it, the, for what they made in a year, pretty damn impressive. Oh, they they can't, you can't you can't you can't do that you can't say but, oh it was only made but, in a year no 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 i not trying to make excuses he's not i'm not making excuses i i do not like forces in a year man but like that shouldn't be what we get what i'm what saying what, what i'm saying is well. think about it like this in this part boggles my mind when we fought when we that means when we saw that cgi cutscene of project sonic 2017 there was practically no game made yet yeah and that word because they, they spent three years on a lighting engine. Yeah. That boggles my and mind. And guess what? The lighting engine wasn't even that good. They couldn't. It's disgusting. And I, this, this is the part I find most disgusting. They tried to take Lost yeah. engine and like 
Cut it, stitch it, paste it, and turn it into a boost game. And that is... To, oh, yuck. That is horrible development. Yeah, that is so, bad development. But at the same what, time, what, too... What, what, you can't you call, you call hate on them for that. But maybe Sega told them that they had to oh, do yeah, it that Sega way. They had no they choice. Guys, user, no, 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 the no, 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 no. Sega, Sega wouldn't have... No, that, that is just... You're just trying to tease me. Listen, no, <laughs> that is that in itself is whoever was in charge. And this is the Japanese team, by the way, at Sonic Team. The one that got disbanded after this game. Yeah. This was whoever was in charge of, um, and, and I will say this by the way, the teams they had set up, there's no excuse for that. That was a horrible choice. Three newbies on the level design was stupid. Nakamura being, uh, what was it? He was the lead for Sonic Forces. The last time he was the lead was in Sonic 06. Yeah, my respect for him is totally gone. I've got zero. Um, the interviews we saw with Nakamura. I can't necessarily blame him because again, that could have been Sega, like I mentioned before, trying to make no, the game simplistic. Yeah, Sega's like, was like, was like hey, Nakamura, say in the interview to Dash like a maniac. He was too excited. He no. wanted it that way. He <laughs> said, hey guys, the press the X button. And again, whoa. again, no, no, no. It was a bad design. It was a horrible design. But I can't say for a fact that Nakamura. Uh, wanted people the game to be simplistic because he made games like 06 where the game was not Yeah, but, but, but Sam, simple. you have to remember something. Just like your favorite artist has a prime and they drop like two albums that you love, they fall off. Just because Nakamura has done great things in the past, just because Izuka has done great things in the past, doesn't mean that their judgment will forever be perfect. Doesn't mean they yeah, can't stand up. I'm not, not, no, I'm not, I'm not saying that. I know they they have bad takes. Nakamura doing doing this, or and again, it's not confirmed. This is only speculation. I can only base off of what I can see from the outside. I have a firm belief that Nakamura and Izuka know better. I do. I feel like them just trying to be forgotten. accessible. They're trying to be. They're trying to be accessible and make the games easier into younger audiences because they could see their numbers are dropping and they need new people. Yeah, yeah but Sam, you've forgotten about a very important level design philosophy, which is low skill floor, high skill ceiling. Well, it shouldn't just be a low skill floor and a low ceiling. You have to make games which that is have. Which why they started generating. They so should be fucking good. They shouldn't be. They shouldn't have high skill ceiling. They shouldn't be treating us like. Are you kidding me? High skill was getting getting the best top roots, getting the best time. Heroes okay. had a high skill ceiling. Oh, it always goes back to Hold the on. heroes. I Fuck agree. Yes. You, you had Team Rose. That was the accessibility. Guys, I agree they shouldn't treat us like goddamn idiots. The classic games didn't treat us like idiots either. Okay, the, the Sonic was never built to treat us like idiots and hold our hand. The boost gameplay now is just holding our hand. It's literally automatic. Oh, our, our, the, finger, our finger. And I will say, even, even then, I feel like the boost <laughs> gameplay in and of itself was more or less a band-aid it wasn't a permanent fix on 3d sonic they should have improved it more but they kind of stuck with it with with it just being like this and i feel like over time even if the if the boost gameplay was the same as it was in generations if they made like great levels again and great level design i feel like even then i would still feel a bit tired of the boost gameplay i feel like it's i wouldn't just, I, I wouldn't, and I think it's well, impossible. Well, you're a speedrunner. The like, boost gameplay is no, good I for speedrunners. I think it's impossible to tell if you would be tired about that if Forces was not bad. People are just tired of the fact that I, it would have been I a completely people, different. People are tired scenario. of the fact that it's so short. Because even if you made some levels that were fun, if you take the model levels and gens and play them back to back to back, you're not even taking half an hour out of your day. So it's like for them to do a full boost game with nothing else in it, it's just not going to be. A sustainable length game and i think that's the problem that's what is tiring because if you went back to the adventure formula sonic is slower they can make longer games yes, again i agree i agree and that's why i feel like again like i mentioned before the boost formula is just not friendly to develop for it's just not oh, if yeah, they, I, if, I feel I like if this current sonic team dealt with yeah sonic can be slower but still be sonic the hedgehog they don't have to show him going at blisteringly high speeds if they had adventure gameplay again and and had but wait what? Compromise. Why? I want to. I, I want to I wanna say something. Yeah, I said this before, but if they were to make an Adventure Three or a game like Adventure Three, yeah. I would not it be did. mad if one of the playstyles was boost, even if it had 2D. As long as it was like My Gen's level okay, of 2D, if they made, where it wasn't too many. If they made a boost formula with a game like that, those levels would either be so short. No, or, but I'm saying one one playstyle. The other one play gameplay style. styles would be alienated. Well, the no, thing like is, for example, I'm, for example, like of... imagine giving Shadow like adventure style gameplay, and then giving Sonic the boost, 
and that's like but that that is it, so much you because it takes so much to develop for the boost formula it would it would literally just yeah but then the other play styles would help with the length of the game and you'd get boost and adventure one game but then but why not have everyone have the same type of gameplay style like in adventure but give us different characters give us characters that control See, i'm not saying i would be against that i'm just more so saying for to throw people that like the boost a bone without making complete boost games you could have one but place let that explain, would boost. let me explain to you why do you think the last game that had different characters was sonic 06 why do you think the last game that had level designs that or levels that went longer and was actually fleshed out relatively was sonic 06 was because the formula there is easier to develop for and sonic team again is not that big of a team i feel like just the boost in general just really hinders what they want to do because uh, again generations yeah they did it with it, unleashed i mean to an extent I know, no because they it. had the werehog to drag it out but even even still I, i'm just saying i'm just saying at the end of the day I this, think this, I think the this, this is tiring because course. I mean we t we could talk about Sega's mismanagement for, for over the years. We could yeah. talk about how they somehow still haven't figured out how to get 3D Sonic right. At some point, I just get like I'm I'm so tired of trying to figure out how to fix Sega. I feel like that's their job, that's their responsibility. Mm -hmm. Like I'll just sit here with my sixty dollars every year and just wait for them to no. put out something that I want to pay for. Uh, you Prem, know? you no, mean your twenty dollars? No, hold oh, on. Of course. Let me, no, I'm no. willing to pay the sixty. I'm willing to. I would pay sixty for a new game if it was good. I would pay for like I bought Mania on Switch. And no, but you I know what? Mania on PC. I got the collector's edition. I would be that guy if they just made fucking good 3D games. I, no, think, it's that guy. No, I think it's pathetic that Sonic Team is such a small fucking team for a name as big as Sonic the fucking Hedgehog. Yes. I think that is just downright. I pathetic. think it is sad that Sonic gets a small team, but at the end of the day, Sega so, isn't. This is what my it point. Used They're irrelevant. They can't sell the units they want to sell, so they have to downsize. They cannot pull four million units on a game, so they cannot have the budgets that we want them to have. But at the same time, I should mention. Right. I should mention that this is. I still think the people that are at Sonic Team are capable. They are really skilled people. We know what they're capable of making. Just for, I'm the just, record, just for the record, if you've played Spark the Electric Jester 2, which I've played on my non Sonic Channel Premium list, by the way, but if you've played that game, <laughs> it's very inspired by Adventure 1, and that was made by one person. So even with budgets aside, if the philosophies were right, if they really knew what they were doing, they would give us the best they could give us at that budget level. Like, for example, you don't need a big budget for Sonic to control good. You just need people that know again, what control yeah, no, I do, is. I do think Forces was just development hell. It just, it was just, uh, the, the way they Which planned that Which makes me so bad. angry because it had the best potential for a Sonic game It did, because it's time. been years, it's been years since the last one, and I really was looking forward to that no, game. No, but like, even the story so setup and everything was so fucking cool, and it, they it, ruined it! It was yeah, the I most know. badass thing Sonic could have ever done, and it was shit. Yeah, I know. I know it, the game. The game. So the game really did have assets like, of being a good game. But... This clip, Sam. I think you've seen this clip. Yeah, on your Twitter. <laughs> um, but now I will say now because we covered the last mainland Sonic game, Team Sonic Racing. I don't want to go into it really because I feel like we already know Transformed was better in every way. Uh, yeah. They just didn't. They just didn't advertise that game enough. The game budget. was fine. Budget. 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 And, and yeah, yeah, it does seem like Sega just didn't give Sumo the budget to make it. What as good? Yeah. Now, again, I mean, the again, way I now feel here's, about what, I racing, here's what I want to say. Here's what I want to say. Here's what I want to say. After the movie, they have a lot of eyes on them right now. If Sega oh, no, does no, not they, give they them down. the budget they need and the and more assets to use and more people to use, then then I would be right there with you, Prem. That they just don't care anymore. But oh, Sam, so Sam, Sam, yeah. who, what is the evidence that that extra money that they made for the movie is going to go towards the game? Yeah, so they're going to get that it, cop no, on I'm the not movie, saying because of the movie. I'm saying, I'm saying that for themselves. I'm saying it's not that Sega Sonic Team or Sega doesn't have money. I feel like they just don't give Sonic Team the, that much money anymore. I don't think they have enough money. Period. Because no, what, no, what no, are their no. biggest Sega's IPs right now? Sega is doing fine. Their arcade business is doing fine. The Yakuza series is doing amazing. Yeah, Persona, but I mean, in the gaming department, or not in the arcade business. I'm saying when it comes to making games, what games are they making that have way bigger budgets? Yakuza is probably the biggest thing they got right now. Yeah, yeah, Yakuza. And that's not like triple A, triple A. It's 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 all right in terms of budget, but it's not. 
they're not huge budget titles. They're not doing like the kind of millions of units that you would need for it to be super triple A. But it's doing all right. But my point is that even with forces budget, even with the one year development time, if Christian Whitehead was in charge of the control department, if you know the people that well, did SA one really... level design in their prime were in charge of the level design for forces. No, and I, the and game, I agree with Prem. This the is game may have been true. short. The game may have been short. It may have been budget with the CGI, but the game could have still been one yeah, hour of fun. Sonic Mania is living proof that budget is not everything. Yeah, no, I know the exactly. budget isn't everything. I, I've said like this game, this team is capable with what they have. My point is, is because I'm saying like there is flaws in their team. The person that does the controls and everything, that person is just not doing a good job. They're not. They're not. They're not doing what they're supposed to do. They're not giving Sonic the control and the feel he needs to have to have a fun and enjoyable game and to make levels that work for him. It just annoys me because like this is the worst Sonic has ever gotten without a shadow of a doubt. Drought. Games that come out aren't even that good. I, this is it. Like, yeah, like this, I, this, I, I, I said this about the 2000s. Destroyed like, the franchise more than Sonic 06. I said, I said, I said this about the 2000s. I said that people can call it, call it the dark age and all these but things. They, but I at really the end of the don't. day, we were getting so many games yeah, in no, the we 2000s were. that lot, even if you only liked half of them or one third of them, that's probably still like one a year. You know, if you didn't like Shadow the Hedgehog, we got Rush that year. If you didn't like 06, we got Riders Sonic that Riders, year. Yeah. If you didn't like Unleashed, you got Rush Adventure. You, you got Mario and Sonic and the Olympic well, Games. Rush Adventure was 2007, but yeah, fuck you. There was always something. No, you know there was. Mean? No, I agree. And then you look at now. This In year, question, what's question, the biggest question, game that released question, this year? Question. Sonic the Olympic Games. Game. Hey, yeah, I know. Question. <laughs> Question. So you've gotten, you guys noted that that between like 2010 and 2020, we've had less games in our hands, right? You guys just said yeah. that. Yeah, of course. Of course. Who do you think is in charge of green lighting games? Sonic Team or Sega? Oh yeah, it's a Sega problem. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. okay but okay. why no, is Sega green no, lighting? It's not a Sega problem. No, 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 no. It's not. It's a Sonic Team problem, and I'm gonna explain why. No, it's not. Because. Well, it's why, not only Sonic Team wh- who makes why, Sonic games. Why, why did Sega greenlight less games this decade than the previous decade? It's because Sonic Team kept dropping the ball with the games. That was their fault. Well, to be fair, Prem, even if the like, even if Sonic Lost World was Sonic Generations 2 and it was fucking incredible, it, that was on the Wii U, so I would have suffered either way. Here's, yeah, here's, but if it was that successful to where it was like thing. a critically acclaimed game on the Wii U, they would have ported it. Here's naturally. my thing. If Sega gave Sonic Sonic Team... They did if Sega kept World. giving... Okay, let's say this. <laughs> let's go over... They, okay. they were going to port it anyway. Let's say this. <laughs> if Sega kept giving Sonic Team a budget and Sonic Team didn't deliver and Sega got mad at them, why would why would giving them less of a... less teams to work with and less of a budget help them in any way? It doesn't. Sega just doesn't have faith in Sonic Team. But... Not they have them reason to not have faith help. because they were dropping the ball. I do agree that they were dropping the ball on some things, but again, I don't think that. I I think right now with what's happening with, thi- like with 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 this type of wait, between 2010 and 2020, I think now with having less Sonic games is not because it's Sonic Team. It's because Sega is now like again. Holding them tighter and tighter and tighter. It's because they Sega won't give because Sonic no, lost it's its Sega, Sega won't give more companies like Dimp. Remember Dimp? Remember when they made fucking games? Why the hell did they go? Well, to be honest, I'm okay. I'm, 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 I mean, Dimp's can. Well, I'm not okay if we're waiting <laughs> four years. Bunch, for our fuck, they gave us if, we're waiting, if we're waiting four fucking years for a single mainline Sonic game and all we get is forces, fuck that, man. Exactly. And, 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 Sonic, and, a, and a Sega of a, a Sega really on a budget. And, Where and are the ports is, then? I, Where are and the people ports? always say, oh, don't ask for a game reveal. They're taking their time. Forces took four years. Now, hold on. It's just. Now, hold on. Now, I kind of want to go into that real quick. Before we end this video, because we talked about all the main stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like this is the only time we can really talk about it. Now, I'm going to change subjects a little bit. Okay. This is going to be a Trojan horse here. So, why the hell are you guys so mad about the memes? <laughs> why oh, are you yes. So mad? You know what? Okay. Okay. I will answer this question for us both, Prem. We are not mad 
at the memes themselves. Some then of the memes are trash, but... Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah, some of the memes are like, yeah, that's really subjective. But the issue is, is all they do is the memes. Because there's no game. Sonic at the Olympic Games was barely ever promoted. Yep. Team Sonic Racing was barely ever promoted. Yep. Even the Sonic movie was barely ever promoted You're on the correct. Sonic official. Yes. Now, here's my question. Who are you going to blame for that? I mean, that's not Weber's fault, if that's what you're saying. No. I mean, yeah, it's not. It's his, not, jo- his yeah, job Weber, is to, his job is to like, market people in the community. Weber. Yeah, I mean, my, my, point is that, my point is that this. The memes are not the real problem. The problem is that no amount of memes, and it, it feels like this is what they're trying to do. No amount of memes can mask a drought that leads to another mediocre yeah. game. So yes, no, matter, memes, no matter how good the memes are, it's just a reminder that yeah, we're getting good games. It's this whole thing Prem was talking about with trying to like converge like memes into games. That's just not how it works. People interact with memes, hee hee hee. That's not going to sell games, and it never will. There's people in the community now that are blaming Weber and Katie for the fact that there's no announcement. I see it. Every day. Oh, I thought that There's people that I don't blame them. There's younger people in the community that just don't know what's going on, and they're just going to go for the lowest yeah. hanging and fruit. And I want okay? I want to make it clear here. When and and and, and again, I just want I just want to just share my point of view for what you guys should do. Well, if you guys see memes and you don't, you're like, oh, this isn't an announcement. I get your frustration. Oh, but, my lost tweet. <laughs> but don't talk about how crap. Um, <laughs> Did you make that after seeing my tweet, or did you make it first and then saw my tweet? I was like, yeah, I'm going to make this. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Here's, here's the thing. The people that are making I think that's the memes, most liked reply on the thing. They're, yeah, they're fuck you, you me. stole my meme. The people, the people that are making the memes are, that are on the social media team and are just kind of just kind of having fun, that's just them just being, just trying to get, just... Talk to the community and just like be involved in the community and just share I and just have a laugh. I disagree. I don't think that's all it is. I think there's a corporate side to it. I mean, of course. No, but here's the thing. Yeah. They can't. They can't do whatever they want. They can't post whatever they want. No, they we can't. get that. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, what happened to the streams? They stopped those. Uh, they're well. Um, they took a break for the Christmas break. Um, and then Christmas. after. Yeah, because usually they would have a break around Christmas time. And then they would come back like a like around February, I believe. Um, it's just, uh, and also it's not to entirely blame Aaron and Kay, but they obviously have influence. It was probably Aaron Weber who started the meme thing in the first place with Sonic being fire and ice. Well, no, he's Aaron has done. That's, actually, I, I will say no. Aaron has done. Here's the thing: you gotta understand. Sonic, even in the 90s, was a self-aware character that that was really cocky and, and did and he did what the kids were doing at the time. He was cool and was hip and was doing the stuff that was cool at the time. You got to understand that that even though it's cr- it, it could be cringy at times, memes are all the rage. And Aaron actually did a really freaking good job because the second he took charge of the uh, the social media, the Sonic account got millions upon millions of followers oh, it, did. It, it, it yes. did i agree yeah. it did yeah and he's well, doing he's happened. doing he's doing what is honestly what sonic does he he does what the kids do that's why he flossed in the movie sonic does what the kids do i know as we get older we get older it's not a it's not a replacement for a successful main series i know like people, but that they, people always go I understand this is why that Prince. this is why sega's better than nintendo they care about the fans and but it's not a replacement games, but then nintendo still drop the good shit and then people come back your ideology the are the core of everything listen no your ideology is off. that stop your your ideology is that them doing a meme is like wasting their time from making an announcement. The people because that are making the memes no, because what are they do not... is very self-aware memes where they make fun of their own history, like making yeah. memes clowning 06 when or, instead you of should be making new games. games. They get Aaron know Hansen taken to Japan and make a big the cat fucking song and use exactly. that as promotion. Team you take no, one of the on, biggest, no, well, one of yeah, the biggest okay. Sonic haters and then you go and yeah, praise well, hold them. Hold on, you, you gotta understand must, this. The cast was probably more than this. Myself. There's two things. One, and you guys are gonna yell me for this i already tell aaron yes he doesn't like the games and i'm talking about aaron hansen aaron hansen doesn't like the games but 
he does like Sonic as a character. He does like I know, I know, Sonic. Sam, he likes Sonic. Have have no, hold on. Award, no, I don't on. have an issue with them I, taking Aaron Hansen. I couldn't care less. I it's agree. the fact that they thought making a Big the Cat song was good. No, hold on. I agree that they could have definitely picked more better people to grow with them, to take them and to advertise with them. They've heard the community's voice on that. Right, um, but they heard the marketing uh, feedback apparently, and they haven't done a that, fucking thing about that, it. Not one thing. The the people well, on top. Yeah, I, do, I do think that Sega like the people on top I that, 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 that tell them that. when the people on top that tell them when they can post something. Those I are believe, the people. I, I believe that they're limited to, in that in that area. That's true. Though, but the, it's just. Right, so trailers out already. Right, so Sonic at the Olympic Games. So when this trailer that's already out, mm -hmm. and they say nothing about it, and instead post a fucking meme. They don't believe in their game. That's why they're not talking about it. The no, game that is is that's pathetic. That, that is downright pathetic. When it was Mania, they were tweeting about it. The people they just on don't top. believe in the game. That games. is not the social media team. That is the people on top. No, it's, it's, it's a Sega issue. I agree. It's, yeah. it's a fuck. I fucking hate Sega's marketing. They, I don't know what the fuck happened. No, they're definitely they lacking when it comes to marketing, marketing their games. games. They, they have been. They it's have like been. On this trailer, like and that you know, I gotta say. I think it's because they're complete cheapskates. Team Sonic Racing, especially, they didn't want to spend any money on marketing, and it bit them in the ass. I, I just think like they don't. I just think they don't believe in their games. That's why they don't market. Mania was. Then everywhere. why the fuck even make them, Prem? Why even make the fucking games? At that rate, they might as well just kill off Sonic <laughs> and just well, make him. As a long fucking... as there's people like they might as well just make violent. him into a fucking hee hee. I'm a Sonic meme cartoon. They might as well just make Sonic Mania Adventures Part Two, and it's just memes, memes, memes. Oh. Well. That's well, what they should do. I feel like that's the team, all they do. I feel like the team do does what they can when they can. Um, like How they is it that Yaku Yakuza is more of a relevant series than Sonic? That's a different the team. The H Hog. That's a different team, and it's making more money than right. Sonic. No, but this is a Sega complaint. Why yeah, no. the fuck is it like that? Uh, I don't know. I think, I we, think have to, probably, we have to go across Sonic, the Sonic big is pond harder to figure make, that out. And they just can't make it. So right, but I think why Yakuza keeps getting made. I, I, think, and, I think, and again, I, I'm not saying like, you know, and again, I, I really think that Sonic Team does what they can. It really does come down to, again, the people on top not letting them do what they can when they can. They want to advertise their game, obviously, but the people on top that think Sonic is irrelevant and that Sonic doesn't matter, those are the people that you need to put your uh, your your uh, concerns toward. Um, that's all that's that's all I know is the people it's the people on top is the, the suit and ties the people yeah, that we do I, I, the people I'm, that I'm we do not concerned. know of and the people I'm that because, because it's just like okay the people on top but we have no control we have no say so it's just gonna you stay do. in this endless loop. You do your money. So your idea of me fixing Sonic is not buying the games, and then if you Sonic, see the next game trailer, if you see the next game trailer and it looks and feels and it just looks like another Sonic Forces, don't buy it. Okay, well, now well, if that happens, Prem, what Prem do you think they're gonna do? do? What do you think they're gonna do? They're just gonna make an even lower budget game next time and just make it worse. Well, hold on. Because of the relevancy of the movie, I feel like Sega would pump more money and more assets into the next game. You would but think they're that, already but working been on the next pretty game. Pretty fucking though. dead since the movie released. Well, they're already again, working they on were the next meant game, to though. have How a game release, but they decided point? to delay it. They were meant to have uh, an announcement already. Uh, and how well, we do don't, we know? We don't no, know if they've delayed the release though. We don't know. The no, but we don't even know they were going to announce a game. We don't know that. They they, they, they were. were. They were. You could tell they were. They really? were absolutely Where? gonna Yeah, of course. You can tell they Where? they were they if were definitely they were, gonna announce. If the they game. were announcing Sonic Mania Adventures part fucking seven, then they were really just <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Oh, Let me tell you something. If, they do that, if, 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 if they've been if they've been holding us back this entire time and they do that eventual announcement that they plan on doing in the future and there's no game announcement, trust me, I'm gonna make that rant video right next to yours, okay? But I guarantee you there there was meant to be a game announcement. It is time. It is that time. Yeah. Um, well, believe, you know what? Though, be honest, I firmly believe the time. The movie and was by the way, just... they already announced that they're working on the next mainline Sonic game back in 2018 or 19? 19. 19. 19. 19 well, early 2019. That game should have released last year. Remember no, when it shouldn't Sonic have. No. Was... Give them time. Wonder why? Right, again, this, this, okay. they already have Twitter, the lighting Twitter, engine. Twitter, Sonic Twitter, forces. Twitter. They already Twitter. have. No, no, no. We they have, they already have forces, the lighting so engine. We have to give them eight yeah, years. Yeah, now we have to give them eight years of time. Oh, shit. Eight years isn't enough. Give them 20 years. Twip. They already have the lighting engine now. 
This is pure. Just make the goddamn game part. Okay, they have the Lion Engine. Then PS5 and Xbox One. That's why I have. Engine. That's why I really, really do have more engine. faith. And that's why I do have more faith in this next title because I feel like they have more time right, to actually no, work I can on the game part. I already what's gonna happen. I already yeah. know what's gonna happen. The game's gonna like the game might look good, but it's gonna look just as budget as Sonic Forces. Everyone's gonna say, "Oh, you can't complain. It still looks good." When it's like the standards should be far higher now that all they've been working on is the game alone. We don't and not know that. Fucking engine. We don't. Again, we we don't know that because again, the 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 Hedgehog engine was used in more games other than Sonic Forces. It was used in the new Space Channel 5 of uh, Virtual and Reality. And it was using game. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, Tokyo. Yeah, it was used and, in that as well. And honestly, it doesn't look... Again, but those are also, like... Those those titles are usually don't have a bigger budget, so it's hard to tell from oh, those. Oh, actually, actually, before you continue, Sam, yeah. the whole Sonic relevancy thing, Mario and Sonic sold, like, fucking trash. I think that's... Oh, next to well, Rio, yeah, I think it's the lowest selling Mario I forgot Sonic that game, game out came out. I didn't even get it. I didn't even yeah. get it. And, and how... Right. And why did it sell? Why did it sell badly? Oh yeah, marketing. Duh. That's run For its sure, course. marketing. It's a gimmick that's run its course. The first one was like, oh my god, Mario and Sonic got a game together. Oh, uh, London it's like, 2012. All that happened again, and then all London that happened 20... again, and then all London that happened 20... again. London 2012 is a fucking excellent game. That is that is underrated. That game is fucking fun. Yeah, but you know, my my point is is like just. All I know is that I, I have more faith in the team's next game in terms of Why? actual gameplay because they actually have a lighting engine and they could actually... They're, okay, they're using, right. And that's irrelevant, though. Oh, and again, still right, had, right. Forces still had us control, though. They haven't and loved again, that. I feel like that like, movie was a wake-up call to Sega that Sonic is still... People right, still like Sonic, and many, Sonic can print money. Sonic can print money. How many How many times have we said this? How many times have we said, oh, they'll do better next time. Oh, this will be the wake-up call. Sonic Boom was meant to be the wake-up call. Sonic 06 was meant to be the fucking wake-up call. Yeah, no, I get that. I know, I know, I know we've said shit. that over and over. I know we've said that over and over. Oh my god, Prem's maybe so but angry. I don't, you, think, I don't think you guys have noticed how closely they're listening to the community now versus they were 10 years ago. I will well, notice guess when what? I see good gameplay. Well, guess I don't, what? I don't, you know I don't, what? I don't, I don't have I think faith. I wait for gameplay. I think listening to the community is a mistake. I think they should be listening to the general fucking consensus. The, yeah. the audience who buys their games, not just the hardcore fans made up of like 10 people. Like Either that's way. Just <laughs> Either way, I feel like we've I feel like we've absolutely run the course. Oh yeah, we that. fucking have. This is oh gonna be God. like a three part thing. Holy shit! Yeah, Trem um, made me angry, and he's unleashed my well, rage. That's what we wanted. Sonic. We wanted this discussion. Wow. We needed. I just wanted because again, because I feel like you no, know, me like all three of us are on totally different sides of the ponds when it comes to this series. Uh, but you know, it's still talking with each other and just like seeing what each other thinks is still. Uh, you know, a thing that we should do and I'm happy we did this and I'm sure the community will have a discussion in the comments about everything we said of course it's all about being respectful when we, yeah when we, yeah because obviously guys, even, though we're, like even though we're raising uh, our voices ever. with each other it's all we're all just kind of joking around here so again oh no just, I really hate Twitter that's real but, being you know. being respectful and Fuck just you, having a conversation that's all that what this is about so, I mean, I think we've covered everything. I'm excited to see what the future holds for Sonic. Um, a moral of the story, though, that I really want to leave off of is get off their back <laughs> in terms of the social media. Because <laughs> they, because I, I promise they're doing everything they can. Um, right. My moral is I stopped having oh, a face for Sonic. Places, I, said, I said for them to post more fan arty stuff like that. And then, like... They Three did. days later, they did. Yeah, they did. They listened. That's, so, like, getting off their back. Like, we're not. It's not as if we're going out to stab them. We're just giving. Oh, no, them I know. Back. I know. I know. Me saying that we it's because, want to it's see because I see this growing. Is, is I just again. It's because well, yeah, I see that's this different. I'm not asking I, for them to. Like, I'm not necessarily yeah. seeing it from you guys, but I do see this growing animosity on on Twitter and just on social media. People just hating the, the as if that these people make the games. They don't, and they, and they're not. And they're making memes. Don't waste their time from doing something else because that something else you guys want is something they can't do without the permission of the people that you should really be mad at or the people that you should should be throwing your concern at uh again it, doing it respectfully i think is the way to go because if you're going to be vulgar and all that stuff toward like yep. the higher ups at sega Prem. they're not even going to listen so Prem. be respectful Prem. and Prem. maybe and again yes, when are. was the last time people respectfully gave sonic King criticism uh, most of the time almost over 50% of the time it's a video on YouTube of them cussing and yelling 
Being Fram. respectful is a thing is a good change of pace to give criticism and they will listen. So with Fram. that said, with that said, I want to thank you both for being here. I want to thank you both for being here. This is a fun discussion. Uh, their stuff will, uh, you know, their channels and everything will be in the description. And also, check out the non Sonic channel. Oh my god. No, Premi hates Sonic, Sonic, so he made a non Sonic channel. So, <laughs> go and subscribe and to And I it. also make non Sonic content on my main channel. You should totally watch subscribe it. Subscribe to his Pokemon video. Do you still make Pokemon no, videos? No, no. My newest video is not Pokemon. So, oh, you'll. Pokemon? What is it? Uh, I don't want to reveal it. Okay. Well, anyways, thank you oh. both for joining us today. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye.